Okay, so the Nets are hedging here. If you're this big who's hedging right now, as soon as this pass gets made, so right now this pass is getting made, you need to be recovering right now. See, look what this Nets player is doing. Not recovering. That's that's it. <laughs> okay, you got to have urgency and transition guarding Donovan Mitchell. You got to sprint back here, get in a defensive stance with your feet set. This backpedaling thing against Donovan Mitchell is does not work. All right, it's the same thing with Michael Bridges. You got to sprint back. Like you got to get in a defensive stance. Stop backpedaling. Like it, it no, you can't guard Don Okay, when you are guarding on the ball, especially with Donovan Mitchell, your only focus can be Donovan Mitchell. If a screen comes, a teammate will let you know. Look at this Nets player. You can see him anticipating the screen. Look at him just turn his head. Now you're not paying attention to the ball. So now... Pfft. Okay, so this is a down screen. I don't understand what's going on here. This Nets player just needs to stay attached with his arms out so Jared Allen can't curl, but you stay attached to your man. What is this net? Look at that. Why are you unattached from your man now? Now Karis Levert's... Oh. Okay, so if the Nets are trapping, stop. This player's got to step up here. Okay, you got You can't let this pass get made. This player can kind of slide down and occupy these Cavs players here. But if you trap and nobody goes to the roll, well, of course. Okay, again, the Nets trap. You got, This player's got to come here. All right, this player can slide down. If a skip pass is made, you can go here, and this player can X out here, or you can have this player come here and you go here. But if nobody goes to the roll, of course. Come on, if you're this Nets player, you cannot lean towards the screen early. You're just going to get beat the other way every time. Okay, this is a horrid switch. Dorian Finney-Smith should be underneath the screener right now if you're switching. Battling for real estate initiating contact. What's Dorian Finney-Smith doing? You don't switch over the top. So now this forces a totally unnecessary second switch, which is terrible. Hey, what is Cam Johnson doing? You got to get back in transition to a Cavs body and be ready to guard in a defensive stance. Look at Cam Johnson right here. Where is he going? Like you're guarding Donovan Mitchell. But you're not have any chance of doing so. All right, look at Spencer Dinwiddie, not in a defensive stance. Look at his feet. So now when he closes out here, look at his closeout. Stop. His feet aren't level to each other. So now the littlest jab step here by Isaac Okoro. Well, he just moved his foot upward. That's a problem. And then this little jab step. Look at this little jab step right there. Boom. That gets you flying backwards the other ways. You're off balance. And now Isaac Okoro can just go right past you. Okay, if you're this Nets player right here, you're guarding Donovan Mitchell, you cannot anticipate a screen here. Look at this. You're trying to anticipate a screen here that was never set. So now you're off balance guarding Donovan Mitchell, and that is never a good thing. So what does that do? That draws help, and there's no one to box out Jared Allen. Michael Bridges cannot just be comfortable with Jared Allen standing right here in the dunker spot. you got to get into his jersey right now, battle for real estate, initiate contact. See, because if you don't, look what happens. Now look at where you're boxing him out in the charge circle. I mean, it's just, at that point, it's... Okay, if you're Joe Harris right now, get in a defensive stance with your feet set. See ball, see man, all right? See, the pro you're not in a defensive stance. Look at your feet moving everywhere. So now look, now you're going this way as Seti Oseman is coming this way. And that's just not going to work. All right, we got a cross screen right here. Stop. So this cross screen, you've got to jam Mobley as he comes through so this player can get on the other side. When you don't do that, this happens. Okay, this is another cross screen. Come on. Get attached to your man. you got to jam Darius Garland as he comes through so Royce O'Neal has time to get on the other side. Like, you don't do it. If you're going under this screen, stop. You can't make contact with the screener. you got to go as far underneath as you can to not make contact with the screener so you're on the other side at the same time Donovan Mitchell is. See, look at this. You make contact with the screener. Now Donovan Mitchell's on the other side way ahead of you. That brings in help. That means nobody boxes out. Okay, as soon as Evan Mobley makes his pass stop, he's in the paint. So you can't rest. Like, you got to get into his jersey, battle for real estate, and initiate contact. See, you're resting right now. So now Evan Mobley's going to catch this ball way too low, and there's nothing you can do. 
Okay, I mean, if you're Michael Bridges here, you need to sprint back. This is Donovan Mitchell. you got to get in a defensive stance with your feet set. This light walking, now backpedaling, you have no chance. None. Okay, so we have a turnover right here. Stop. There's too much jogging from these three Nets players. I, I, you know, they all have roles getting back in transition. The fact that all of them slow down and are not sprinting back because Spencer Dinwiddie had no chance of guarding the ball off that turnover. Okay, we have another turnover here. Stop. If you're Spencer Dinwiddie, start sprinting back now. Being disappointed during a live ball is going to really hurt you. Look at Spencer Dinwiddie instead of getting back, complaining and then jogging. Well, now this is a five on four because of that. All right. If you want to switch this down screen right here, it has to be immediate. So right now that this player's got to get off of this screener and just be ready to guard Donovan Mitchell off this switch. Because Spencer Dinwiddie's switching here. See, the fact. look at right now. The fact that you still have your hands on the screener and are not just fully ready to guard Donovan Mitchell means you're toast. Because when he catches the ball, you're out of position. And that's, yeah. Okay, so the Cavs come up with this loose ball. Stop. Who's got Karis LeVert? Spencer Dinwiddie? Then say it. Please, because we can't have two people guarding the ball. So if Spencer Dinwiddie communicates he's guarding Karis LeVert, then this player can go here and this player can stay here. See, look what happens. No communication. So now we have Spencer Dinwiddie guarding the ball and this player just standing in no man's land. And the Cavs win the game.